America's national pastime did not begin in America. It began in Britain. These British school children are playing rounders, an early form of baseball. Baseball might still be rounders if it hadn't been for the legend of Abner Doubleday. Doubleday was the soldier who fired the first Union shot of the Civil War. Later, while stationed in San Francisco, he obtained the charter for that city's first cable car. At the end of last century, word got around that Abner Doubleday invented baseball. He denied it. There is no proof he even played the game. But the story stuck because he was a hero. After all the things Abner Doubleday did in his life, he is remembered for a tall tale. Who did first spread the myth? Albert Spaulding. His name appears on a lot of baseball gloves. This glove is the one big difference between baseball and the British game of rounders. All right, second base, Marty. Lee Chilton lives across the bay from Doubleday's old home. Neighbors in Fremont, California call him the glove man. Over the years when I was growing up, everything was win, 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 win. The guys that win are the guys that can sit back and think and appreciate what's happening around them. Don't go to sleep over there now, here we go. Chilton takes the troubled and the talented and teaches them the game of life. Everybody in the ball club takes signals. You stealing on your own? You done stole two bases on your own. Did you tell me to steal a second? I didn't tell you to steal a second. Did you say anything there? I didn't tell you to steal a second. I know, but did you say anything there? What's your problem? Looking at me inside of 747, 747 looks small, especially when you know you screwed up. Troy Belk has the makings of a good pro ball player, but his father puts too much pressure on him. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Lee convinced Troy to go to college, found him a job to help pay for it, then enrolled him in a class of his own. That's where you hit home runs, boy. This is the Abe Lincoln School of Batting. Lee teaches baseball the old-fashioned way. Drive, 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 good. After school and on weekends, Chilton's boys help him run a repair shop for gloves and lives that need polishing. Most of us are more concerned about making a good American buck as opposed to dealing with our kids. Lee insists that those he helps help others. Don't matter where you start. Four years ago, Lee Chilton had a stroke. Glove repair, once a hobby, became therapy. I call myself hiding from these guys. I say, well, I'm going to take me a vacation. I'm going to leave. Hey, coach, uh, we need 100 ground balls. Uh, hey, coach, uh, you going to coach this year? I say, no, nah, well, we'll be ready to play ball come June. There you go. I'm on the ball field come June, in pain, hurting, saying, well, all right? there's got to be a reason. If I die on the ball field, I'm dead. Abner Doubleday is remembered for what folks say he did. Lee Chilton did. It's all right, here we go. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News. Let's go, everybody's moving. Fremont, California.